I've been thinking about the apocalypse a lot lately. I'm gonna tell you, man, I don't think white women are gonna survive the apocalypse. <laughs> nope, nope, ain't gonna happen. I know y'all been doing yoga. I know you've been rock climbing. But it ain't gonna happen, man. I see white women on the street and I just look at them and say, mm, I'm gonna miss you, girl. <laughs> Black women gonna survive the apocalypse either, huh? -uh. Black women way too loud for the apocalypse. Way too loud. Greg, where we going? <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna miss you, girl. <laughs> All my comedian friends know that shit's coming, man. Everybody preparing, everybody like, Greg, we gonna need canned goods. We gonna need water. I'm like, what about chapstick? <laughs> Nobody ever thinks about chapstick, man. It's gonna be a lot of rusty ass lips. <laughs> During the apocalypse, man. Not me, dog. Uh-uh. I'm gonna have a backpack full of chapstick. I'm gonna be trading them for pit bulls. I'm gonna be the real life DMX during the apocalypse, man. I'm gonna have a hundred pit bulls and some glossy ass lips. It's just gonna be beautiful. It's not gonna be a lot of people around. Uh-uh, man. It's gonna be me, like four arena football players, <laughs> and like three Indian chicks, that's it. And the Indian women gonna be there just because they used to starve, and that's it. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Like you've been to Bangladesh, you don't know what they're going through. <laughs> Everybody scared of North Korea? Ooh! North Korea got a hydrogen bomb, ooh! North Korea got a hydrogen bomb, but don't have a pizza hut. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't scared of your easy bake oven ass bomb. My first bomb, shut the fuck up. <laughs> We gonna be all right, we gonna be all right. I'm trying to work on myself, man. I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to be better this year, man. Working on my boundary issues. I got a lot of friends, I ain't trying to brag. I got a nice smile. I got a nice ass smile, man. I'm trying to work on my boundary issues, man. I got a friend uh, that likes to FaceTime me, ugh. I'm like, dude, why do I gotta see your beard at seven in the morning, dog? Just, just text me like a normal human being, you know? I want a friend just enough that they'll give me a ride to the airport, but won't invite me to their wedding. That's the type of friend. I'm tired of going to all your shitty ass fucking weddings. Fuck your wedding. I want to be that friend that doesn't have to pay $500 to see the happiest moment in your fucking life. <laughs> Tired of these bridesmaids dresses? Oh, why do y'all do that to each other? So fucking mean. I always feel bad for the heavy set bridesmaid. There's always one. She had to pay $500 for that shitty polka dot dress. She never gonna wear again. That shit is mean and uncalled for. <laughs> Could you imagine dudes doing that to each other? Hey, yo, Greg, yeah, dog. Uh, me and Shaniqua, we about to get married, homie. I was wondering, uh, we gonna have a NASA-themed wedding. I was wondering if you rent an astronaut suit for $400. I was like, fuck you, Alonzo. Fuck Shaniqua, too. I don't believe in the moon landing. I just found out I don't like carpets. You heard me, I don't fuck with carpets. Hardwood. I am strictly hardwood. You said that kind of nasty too, dog. Hardwood. 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 No doubt. I thought, yeah, hardwood, towel. I'm all about that, man. Carpet's nasty, man. Having a carpet is like throwing a towel on the floor for 30 years and just letting it sit, man. That's just disgusting. It's nasty. We should be above that as Americans, right? <laughs> Too rich for that shit. Man. Uh, I love Covina, man. Y'all so dope, man. I just love performing in front of all these Latinos. Give it up for Latinos, everybody. Give it up for you, my
motherfucking sounds, man. I love y'all motherfuckers. I love y'all motherfuckers. Latinos are the number one minority in America. That's right. Asians, you've been bumped. Black people, you've been been bumped, nigga. You know? You've been bumped. Hell yeah. I didn't think this shit was gonna happen. You know, when Trump got in office, he was talking a lot of shit, calling people rapists, deporting motherfuckers. And then Pixar came out with Coco. Y'all niggas did it, y'all did it, man. Pixar ain't never made a black movie. Uh-uh, man. Uh -uh. All we got is fucking Mr. Freeze. Some jazz records. And that purple bear from Toy Story 3. That's all we got. I know that bear was black as fuck, man. Sad ass bear all lonely. Let's see what you do with Pixar. Just be nice, Latinos. Just be nice. That's all I'm saying. Half of y'all black anyway. Dominicans, y'all black as fuck. I see your black ass grandma, you be hiding in the back of the pictures. Black as fuck. Oh man. I ain't scared of AIDS anymore. Y'all still scared of AIDS? No. Oh, y'all lost me on that way. Yeah, hold on, Greg. I ain't scared of AIDS no more, man. Nah, man, it's a new year, man. I ain't scared of AIDS, dog. I'm way more scared of diabetes than I am scared of AIDS. First of all, diabetes has die in the name. That's scary, y'all. I used to live in San Francisco, man. I know plenty of dudes that's been living with HIV for 20 years plus. But I met a dude the other day, got diabetes three weeks ago, ate two sugar cookies, and is dead. <laughs> Step your game up, AIDS, that's all I'm saying. Step your game up, AIDS. <laughs> that's such a mean ass joke. That's such a mean ass joke. I don't say the N word, I don't say the N word. I'm just too old and too black, you know, just to be up here just screaming out. The N word and shit, man. I'm just too distinguished for that shit. I do not. Uh, I do call my plants niggas, though. I do. <laughs> Only when I'm watering them, you know what I mean? I just come home from work and I look at them I'm like, damn, y'all niggas look thirsty. <laughs> uh, and afterwards, I'm like, y'all niggas cool, y'all niggas cool. <laughs> I just saw Black Panther recently. I just saw that shit. I just saw it like a week ago. I know. I know I'm hella late. I was talking to Steve about that shit. He was like, dog, I paid for you to see the movie, huh? I don't like all the movies like that opening shit, man, because people be shooting up movies. That shit is called Black Panther. That shit's gonna get shot the fuck up, you know what I mean? But I had to go see it, because looking the way I look, when black people come up to me, like, you seen Black Panther? And I'll be like, nah. They look at me like I just killed Marcus Garvey or some shit. You know what I mean? I had to go see it. it. Shit was dope. I was in line to go see it and like, look man, if you over 35 and you Snapchatting, just go kill yourself. Man. Just, just die. Just die, man. Just, just do the movie in line for it. I'm not black man, this handshaking and shit. It's just too old. It's too old. We need, we need old ass apps for old motherfuckers. Just stop it. Stop Snapchat, man. That shit ain't for us. Ain't for us, man. Black History Month just gone. Shana was talking about that. Black people are always struggling, y'all. I feel like I want to do something for my people. Uh, I decided I'm going to start a Black History condom line. Hell yeah. I just think it'd be tough, you know, just to have the opportunity to go into Walgreens and be like, hey, let me get a pack of three of those Langston Huges over here. <laughs> Three of those W.E.B. Du Bois. <laughs> Let me get a pack of three of those Big Dick Gregory. <laughs> My grandma loves that joke. That's her favorite. That's her favorite joke. That's her favorite joke. My grandma actually just died, so that might be her favorite joke. She did. My grandma died. My grandma died recently. She was a good ass lady. Uh, I miss my grandma. Uh, when she passed away, though, one of my homies, uh, grandma just passed away. So like, he from back, I'm from back east. So I called him up to console, you know, just to talk to each other and shit. And uh, he was like, "Yeah, man, my grandma, man, my grandma had ten kids, dog." And I was like, "Damn, man, that's a that's a lot of kids, man." He was like, "Yeah, well, you know, back in those days, people had a lot of kids that you know worked the farm and shit." And I was like, "Yeah, but you know, what if your grandma just had some bomb ass pussy?" You know what I mean? <laughs> Disregard your grandma's good pussy like that. What if your grandma 
I had the best 1920s flapper pussy. This side of the Mississippi. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm hella immature. I'm hella immature. I like that joke, man. The joke makes me feel good. I work with kids. <laughs> Autistic kids, man, I do. I work with autistic kids. Somebody gotta work with them up. Like, I'm not, I'm trying to wrestle me and shit. I'm like, God, you're too strong, man. Sit your ass down. Draw a turkey, motherfucker. Man. That's me. Don't, don't, don't videotape that part. Don't. You gotta go to work. They love me, man. They love me. <laughs> I do, man. Well, like, I get the, you know, I work with autistic kids and they know I do comedy and shit, so sometimes I get the opportunity to speak at schools, which is dope. Uh, but sometimes it does get awkward because the teacher always wants me to leave the kids with some advice, some words of wisdom. And I always tell the kids three things. I say, hey, boys and girls, never let yourself get used. Always wear clean underwear. And for the fellas out there, if you don't eat your girlfriend's pussy, somebody else will. <laughs> and then I leave. I leave. My work is done, right? Come on. I'm tired of hearing all these women talk about they not getting that pussy eaten, man. That's awful. <laughs> Look, ladies, if you're with the dude and he is not eating your pussy, leave. <laughs> Why do we even have to say that shit, man? I can't even look at a pussy without eating it. You know what I mean? That's why I tell my girl, I'm like, girl, you better put them pants on. Don't make me late for this comedy show. <laughs> I do, I do have a girlfriend. My girlfriend is dope as fuck. Uh, black woman, anybody dating black chicks? Damn. There's a lot of motherfuckers in here, too. That is sad as fuck. Don't worry, I'll take them all, man. I'll take them all. That's sad. Black Panther, damn, man. Damn. That's sad, man. I see why they're so pissed off. Damn. I love my black girlfriend, though, man. Uh, she's dope, man. She's smart, educated. She got a master's in some shit. I don't know. She's dope. It's hard dating like an educated black woman with all this like patriarchy and male chauvinism and all this sexual assault shit going on. Uh, me and my girl, we're watching Black Mirror, Netflix. Y'all seen that Black Mirror show? So good. We're watching uh, season two, uh, the San Juan Apparel episode. You know, the one with the lesbians and shit, right? And uh, my girl, man, she just starts watching this shit, starts getting all deep. She's like, look at this shit. That women gotta go through, look at all this shit. And uh, basically, my girl, she starts comparing the complexity of a woman's vagina to a helicopter, right, right? And then she compares the simplicity of a man's penis to a Honda Civic. And the only thing I could come back with was, uh, what year Honda Civic? You know? I like that joke. <laughs> this is real. This is a real conversation. 